Hi, my name is Ron English, and this is a new project called The Rabbits. One fateful day, nine rabbits fell from the sky. It was a flying saucer. The government denied. Wolves saw a meal, some manna from heaven. Nine rabbits scattered, the wolves caught seven. The buzzards circled, looking for some snacks. The buzzards always got the wolves little scraps. Three three-eyed rabbits jumped down a hole, created by their laser beam when their ship lost control. Buzzards decided it was time to be the first ones to eat. So they flew down the rabbit hole after fresh rabbit meat. They found their meal in a paradise below. It was Ronnie, Bunny, and their son, Potato. Now the rabbits didn't want to end up on the buzzards' dinner plate. The rabbits were looking for a much better bait. To the buzzards, the rabbits made a pretty good case. Delusionville was such a beautiful place. If they let the rabbits live and not make them a meal, the rabbits would make those buzzards a really good deal. On the surface world, Buzzards were buffoons, but in this underworld, they could be royal tycoons. They could own it all. They could call the tune. The rabbits would serve and make buzzard dreams come true. If they didn't eat the rabbits, then turn them to poo. Now this was a deal the buzzards could stomach. They would be kings, and the rabbits their puppets. So the buzzards owned all they could see, and the rabbits were their dutiful little nobodies. And all was as all should be. a pig fell into this alternate reality. Now this pig would have made a mighty fine meal, so this big old pig made a desperate appeal. Now the piggies might make some mighty fine barbecue, but a pig could also be a thing of much greater value. So if the buzzards let him live, he would sure show his gratitude and contribute a thing of much greater magnitude. Why, he could build a bank and levy some taxes and build a paradise on the backs of the masses. Now the buzzards thought this was a pretty good deal. And the pig was so pleased, he let out a squeal. <laughs> Next down the hole, there fell a big duck. The buzzards and pigs, well, they couldn't believe their luck. Now a duck would make a pretty good meal, but the duck tried to make a much better deal. Now their indulgence, the duck did beg. Every day going forward, he would lay them an egg. So the buzzards and pig gave the duck a future less bleak, but he would have to live on the wrong side of the creek. But for the wrong side of the creek, the duck was too ambitious. <coughs> Why, 
Hawaii's eggs were something better than golden. Your dimmest ideas, these eggs would embolden. Not only did his eggs make you feel pretty full, his eggs would make you believe your own bull. The pigs thought these eggs might be no joke. Why, there might be some magic inside of those yolks. Yes, the left bank was a little run down. The duck, he could live on the right side of town. So things were as they were, and the animals did sleep until they woke to a thud that appeared as a sheep. Manna from heaven, a wool-covered dinner. The sheep eyed the animals and declared them all sinners. They would eat this angel descended from the hole for a full belly? They would risk their mortal soul? So the animals pondered and made their decision. The sheep could live and bring them religion. So all was sweet and all was swell until that fateful day down fell a shell. The animals thought this was a mighty fine treat, but a turtle in a shell is too hard to eat. So this poor little turtle, shell covered meat, was banished to the poor, poor side of the creek. Yes, delusion of it was ruled by buzzards and swine until through the hole, fell the mighty canine. they condemn the mighty wolf to servitude. The lords of the underground started feeling like food. In Delusionville, there's no place to hide. Back in the time of wolves, many animals died. He who parts the waters turns the tide, and it seemed that fate and folly had been on their side. You see, the mighty wolf had banged his noggin, and his wolfish nature had been forgotten. So the pigs told the wolf he was never so awesome, and he should carry on with a great deal of caution. Yes, the mighty wolf always behave. Yes, the mighty wolf will always be our slave. <laughs> But that was then, and this is now, and all remain the same, the same, somehow. Every animal had their sacred cow, and revolution was not allowed. Yes, every animal knew their place, and to question anything was a social disgrace. In Delusionville, buzzards held the highest positions. The pigs were all self-serving politicians. They wrote the laws 
and the social contracts and built factories that churned out the facts. The ducks were all hype and economic ambition. The sheep were all on a spiritual mission. The turtles saw it all with dried-eyed suspicion. The rabbits adopted others' opinions. And the combrats patrolled the edges of paradise. Because leaving Delusionville would be the animal's dum demise. Thank you.